welcome back to my channel today's video well this is gonna be part of the video because I'm not gonna do a full video on this because I'm not trying to straighten my whole head on camera here today so but I did kind of put my office together so I got my pictures up and then I got my mirror up so all I need to do I want to invest in a new desk and then maybe some more stuff to hang up on the wall to make it look nice because this is where I'm going to film like pictures and sit down videos and tutorials and stuff like that so but I did get this in the mail last week so I don't know if you guys have seen this like hair straightener but I really want to try it out and it's supposed to make straightening your hair like faster with like less damage I'm guessing that's kind of like what I got from it um so it's supposed to heat um within 30 seconds and ready in 60 seconds and it looks like they have other products to try out i've already blow dried my hair and i will show you guys like the products that i use so i use the hello hydration um herbal essence i believe shampoo and then for conditioner i use the aussie um the moisture one i love that conditioner i hear mixed things about it like some people say it's not good some people say it is good it has a lot of slip in the in the conditioner and it detangles really well. So I like to use that on me and baby Drew's hair. And then as far as like the heat protector that I use, it's like this olive oil. You can find this at like any, like at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, any beauty supply store. And they have like different types. They have like a vitamin E. They have an, an olive oil one and maybe a couple other ones too. But it has a heat protectant built into it. So that's the only thing I use in my hair when I do have to straighten it is the olive oil. And then once I am done straightening my hair, I am going to use my split end serum. What this is gonna do is smooth my ends and make it look shiny and prevent breakage and smooth the split ends that I already have because I'm sure I have some, even though my hair's been feeling really good lately, but I did blow dry it to the best of my ability. I blow dried and used the same products as I would if I was using like a regular hair straightener that I have. So I didn't do anything different. So I want to give this, you know, straightener like the best review I possibly can. It also came with two clips, which is really good. It also came with a glove to protect your hand from the heat. And then here is the straightener itself. I did order this off their website. And at the time they did have a 40% off code. Um, so I went ahead and used the 40% off and I think I paid like 40 bucks for this. So um, yeah, but this is how it looks. And as you can see inside, I guess it's like where the heat is, the ceramic plates. And then it has the buttons right here. So it has the on button and then, so it has the power button and then it has the up down where you can adjust the temperature. I'm gonna put this on the highest setting because I have really curly hair and I noticed that like with my hair straightener sometimes after a few days, especially the top will get wavy again. So I'm gonna use the highest level for this just to make sure, like I said, I give this the best review I possibly can. This was not sent to me, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money because I was just curious and wanted something different to try out. Like, they're not paying me to redo this review. They're not, they didn't send this over. They didn't give me anything free, nothing. They, didn't, they don't even know who I am, okay? So I bought this with my own money and I really wanted to try it out. So I went ahead and plugged it in and I'm gonna hit the power button and this is how it popped up. And then I'm gonna see what happens is when I press the up button. So I guess it's already on the highest setting, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna let this heat up for the next like couple minutes and then I will be back. All right, so it stopped blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. So I see them put it up to their scalp and then comb down. Ooh, it is hot. This is literally like bone straight. Okay, so far this is looking almost identical to what my regular flat iron would do. 
I thought it was gonna give me a little bit more volume, but I, honestly, I'm not mad at it because if it's gonna get my hair bone straight, like I'm definitely not mad at that. And it's getting straight on my roots. Like my hair is getting so straight. So crazy and my roots I'm gonna try to do a thicker piece to see how it works because those pieces back there were pretty thin so I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the back start at the top of here and then work my way down And once again, it is bone straight. And my roots are looking good. I did notice the ends weren't as straight, but that might be because I need a trim. So I'm going to trim my hair up later. But so far, I'm really liking it. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my hair, and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I think of it. So I am done with my hair. I'm going to do a completely honest review of when I started straightening it and how I felt at the end because those are like two different like feelings. So when I initially got off camera and started straightening my hair, I was straightening it and I was like, this is really like doing the most. Like, I don't know if this is like necessary if you really need this flat iron or this straightening brush. I'm like, mm, maybe it's not that necessary. Maybe you really don't need it. I was like, I feel like I'm doing more than if I were to just use my regular flat iron. But then as I finished my hair, my hair was not the same as if I were to use a regular flat iron. So I want to say it got my roots really, really well. And I noticed with my flat iron, my roots are always wavy. Even after I'm done straightening it, my roots are still super wavy. And this got my roots and my hair bone straight. I was not expecting my hair to be bone straight. I was expecting it to have a little volume. But I was actually, I feel like I got more than what I, I was initially wanting because um, if it can get my hair bone straight, like I'm not mad at that. But I was expecting a little volume, but even though I didn't get it, I still feel like my hair looks so good. It's so soft. I guess you just gotta kinda have to get used to straightening with it because as I was doing it, I'm like, should I do it from the top? Should I do it underneath? Like I was like, I was so confused. So I just kept doing it the way I was doing it, just on top. I will hold it at my roots for like a couple seconds and then slowly bring it down. I will say it didn't get my ends, like it can't really grip the ends like a flat iron can. So I went over my ends the best as I could and then what I couldn't go over, whatever looks kind of a little bushy, I kind of trimmed off because that was probably split ends anyway. So after I was completely done with it, my hair felt really soft and it was bone straight. Like my hair was not wavy anywhere, which I was really pleased with. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. So I went ahead and curled my ends. I styled my hair like I normally would. And like I said, I gave myself a trim. So I'm gonna turn around and show you guys like what it looks like from the back. So yeah, my hair is shiny, it looks really healthy. Um, I'm actually really pleased with this. Now I will say, if you're not in the market for a new flat iron, don't buy this. If you already have one that you're like, girl, I don't need new flat iron. Mine works just as good. Mine works fine. Never had a problem with it. Don't don't invest in this. Like, just don't do it. I will say, um, this did a really good job with my hair. I do have 3C hair type. So it did a great job, like I will say. But I was in the market for a new straightening tool. So this was this worked really well. But if you're not in the market for a new one, it's not worth buying. I will say this is definitely easier for someone who had primarily straight but kind of wavy hair texture and just need something quick to go over with this will be perfect for that um but it did work on my hair i'm not saying that it won't work on other hair types because it definitely does but is it necessary for you to go out your way and buy it if you already have a flat iron that works really well no it's not so yeah those are my just initial thoughts if you have any questions on it i'll answer them but because i can't really think of anything else off the top of my head but those are kind of just like the key points to what i wanted to focus on but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later if there's anything else that comes up. Hey guys, it's Adriana and welcome back to the vlog. Right now, me and Drew are headed to that really big mall that's out in Syracuse. I keep I will keep wanting to say Mall of America, but what is it called? 
that's new usa so that's where we're headed right now i need to find a dress because we're going to the ball this year it's our first time going to the ball the military ball so i don't have a dress in this next week i would have ordered one i was looking at one but then i saw the reviews i really didn't like the way the dress looked on like the fabric and the material of it it looks really cheap so i'm just gonna go in windsor and see if i can find a dress maybe like macy's and stuff like that and see if i can find a dress um i'm not looking for anything like super super formal mostly just like a black i don't know maybe like a black fitted dress with like a slit on the side or if i can find like um a red dress or something i don't know i'm just gonna look for a really simple dress i'm not going all out i have some heels at home that i bought last year on my birthday so i'm not gonna buy any new shoes um but yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with me to look for a dress for this ball and then i think after that we're just gonna go head back home because um the kids are at school so we have to make it back home to pick them up off the bus stop to eat first because we haven't eaten anything yet after 11 so i think i'm gonna have this chicken now place that i had the last time i was here with my mom and grandma because it was really good we got our food drew got lemon pepper and i didn't know they had that until he ordered it but he got lemon pepper um chicken tenders with fries i got mac and cheese with regular tenders and then their special sauce that is so good drew's getting some cold stone but i am way too full to get some ice cream right now we're about to go into Macy's and I'm gonna get something to get out of Macy's, but what do I want? I may just end up doing the cookies and cream, honestly. Ooh, the cones look good. Who started? Huh? Who started? I guess you pick your flavor and then you pick your toppings. The waffle bowl instead of the cones, is that fine? I might do me a waffle bowl when we get out of Macy's. That sounds so good. I love sprinkle cones too. This thing is thick oh my goodness this would be perfect 65 percent off original price how much is it 220 220 i mean you get 65 off those it's actually a really good deal so i found the dresses but this is not like what i was going for so we need to find windsor because these look like grandma church dresses i don't have enough time to order one so I made it into Windsor and I really like this one. Like it has the slit, super simple. It's really cute. And I see this one. This has this thing in the middle. There's a slit. Oh, it slits in the front. This is cute too. Here comes dress one. This is cute. Oh. All right, dress number two. I do not like it at all. <laughs> no. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the last one Drew just sent me, and he likes this one. This one's really cute. I think this may be it. This is the one. I'm supposed to have a package. Yes. There is my package. This is a very important package and I'm so glad that I got it today. These are just more containers for the hair cream because I completely ran out of containers. Yes, there are the right ones. I'm so happy. So I got more, oh, more containers for the hair cream. Here's 